Hey guys, it's Yorkie here and welcome to the channel for our very first look at the new version 1.5 physics update for Automobilista 2. In this video we're going to be doing an 8 lap race around the Adelaide circuit in the Super V8 cars, effectively a nice nod to the Australian V8 supercar series and we're going to be taking a look at these new version 1.5 physics updates that a lot of people have been saying has been quite a nice improvement in terms of simulation, the car's handling and overall enjoyment in the game. So hopefully this is going to breed some new life uh, into Automobilista 2 and uh, make people consider it a bit more as a serious option as a sim because it is a good sim and uh, it's a lot of fun and enjoyable to drive. So let's go ahead get onto the grid and let's see what this race is going to be like. Alright, so here you are then, P15 on the grid, against the field of AI, 8 laps underway, managed that wheel spin off the launch, it's actually a pretty good one, we're up past 1 AI, 2, can we make it a third, we're alongside, oh they gave very little room there coming through the first couple of turns, up all over the kerb, managing to hold on to it. Just try and get through this uh, this series of 90 lefts and 90 rights. All right, there we go. So we're up two places, up in the P13. It's a good pack racing so far from the AI. Certainly looks like an improvement from old. Although they do look to be a little bit passive and cautious in uh, in some places on the first lap still. Oh, just about managed to sneak on through there. That's another two spots gained. But I have noticed from the uh, from the testing or recording this video, it's only really the first lap that they're uh, a bit cautious. After that, they do kind of pick up and match the speed quite nicely. So from here on out, we should get some good battling. Providing I'm able to keep it nice and clean. <laughs> the car is certainly alive. Feel it moving around. Take the curves. Feel the suspension moving, the tyres flexing very, very nicely, coming through the force feedback. Able to work with the car and manage that oversteer. This is actually the first time that I've driven with the direct drive Moser R5 in Automobilista 2 since I've gotten it. And it's nice to be able to feel all this detail previously. I was just using the T300 and I was still feeling detail there, but uh, obviously people have had uh, mixed opinions about the force feedback in the Madness engine with Project Cars 2 and AMS2 here. Certainly for me, on the default plus, it is feeling nice, very communicative, plenty of detail coming through not anything I've noticed so far that I'm missing. AI is looking very good in terms of uh, their pack racing abilities. These are making some nice improvements there by the looks of things. P10, pulling away slightly from the car behind. Just behind the cars in front. Oh, dearie me. Sorry. Give him a good bump. Going into that hairpin there. A little lock up on the front left.
So yeah, overall, so far, I'm really enjoying this physics update. It feels really good. The cars are feeling quite a bit more alive. From what I've been reading on Reddit and the forums, people were saying that the uh, the lower downforce cars are generally seen the uh, the biggest, let's say, most accurate improvements. Some of the high downforce cars are still a little bit too slippery and slidey and feeling like there isn't a huge amount of downforce actually acting on them. I tried a couple of cars prior to recording this video and obviously tested this scenario here. And from what I've tested so far, I've been feeling very good. Just go and scrape the wall a little bit there. Cars are feeling very communicative, intuitive and just all out enjoyable to drive so far. Just certainly nice to see and as you can see this car with its lack of ABS, lack of, lack of traction control, seven, eight hundred or so horsepower that it has being produced by the, uh, the naturally aspirated V8. Certainly making for an engaging and fun driver, certainly being kept on my toes. Spool differential as well, also uh, also not helping, because uh, pretty much whenever I get on the on the throttle, the rear end is just uh, wanting to rotate and swap ends with the front. So you do have to be a little bit more cautious with your uh, with your throttle management. But it also makes it very very fun. Just about managing to keep it out of the wall this time. Oh, another lock up. That wasn't going to work. Not with the AI there. The steer on the exit, lighted up the rear tyres. Just need to be careful because I'm going to end up overheating them if I do that too much and also eating through the tyre life. But uh, these two uh, AI fighting in front is kind of helping me keep keep up with them through their battling. Oh, yep. Just about got away with it there with uh, clipping that outside wall, kind of helping to uh, straighten the car back up again. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part. Just too much curb on the inside. Unsettled the car. The sound of this car is also absolutely epic. A proper V8. All that horsepower, straight cut gearbox. You can hear that whistling and whining away. Just next to us, in the centre of the car, the exhaust burbling and hopping on the overrun and off throttle. These two guys in front of them, I had a proper good go at it. Awesome to watch. Oh. Thought the car was going to break away from us there. And the AI, not too far behind either. We're going to have a look here into the hairpin. I thought it was. Oh, 
another lock up there on the front left. Try and get that power down onto the final lap now. See if we can get one of them. A bit more aggressive there. Almost. Almost worked. This is awesome. <laughs> awesome. This is just awesome. This is an absolute blast. This is what the Madness Engine was built to produce. God. Rear tyres locked up there under braking. Again, another lock-up. Not going to be able to improve our position here. Going to be too far back into the into the final corner, but just all round, this version 1.5 update seems to have really helped Automobilista 2 make a big leap forward. The AI is really good, fun and engaging to drive. The kind of the realistic you place the car in the right sort of position and kind of treat them as human opponents. They can give you a really, really good, authentic feeling race. And this Super V8 car on this updated tyre model just feels brilliant. It just feels brilliant to drive. Really, really liking it. Definitely going to have to spend some more time here in Autobot Blister 2 trying out more various different scenarios, different car and track combinations and just enjoying the sim. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, please consider subscribing and until the next video, have fun, stay safe, take care.